fact, once he knows you're investigating the town, he'll probably put you on his watch list. I think I'm already on there. We're part of the This is Aromi here, and welcome back to Seven Scarlet. We're about to leave the cafe, hopefully. So then, Isora can show us around. He's like a friendly little puppy. I giggle at the thought, and Isora yells even more cheerful. Okay, wanna head out? Where should we go first? Hey, we're not going out to have fun. We're looking for clues about my brother, okay? I know that, but we've still got to have fun with it, right? I guess so. It's okay, leave it to me. Somehow I'm a little worried now. We change our clothes and leave the hotel. Now then, got any place you want to go? I don't know where to start, so is it alright if I leave it up to okay. you? That means the old town's out. The old town's out wide. We went through a bit of it on the way to school yesterday, but that place is mostly just houses, and a lot of them are abandoned. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. I guess you the place is just the same as it was years ago. It's not like anyone new moves in, so there are less and less people living there. My house is just over there too, but it's empty now since my mom's in the hospital. Okay, so she's still alive. If I don't get, uh, if I don't get, if I don't clean it once in a while, it'll start getting. Del Delapidated? What the hell is that? So I had to be vigilant. How does it start getting run down quickly when no one, li no one lives in them after all? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So that's it. I'm going to get rid of the house of Yuzuki. There's a house of Murakumo. Well, that's right. Yuzuki's home, the Murakumo family home, is located on the hill just past the old town. I don't want to get close to that place, so I'm going to be careful. Nothing good will happen if you get too close to it, so be careful. So that's the boss's home. Why is it best to stay away from it? It's a big place, but there are people who are in the same place. They are in the same place. It's a huge mansion with security cameras everywhere and weirdly trust vigilance committee. People hang around it. I'm crazy. I'm saying it like the same place I'm saying it like me. It's like it's yelling to the world, Hey, look at me! I'm suspicious! The Vigilance Committee. So they really do exist. An aggressive private group in a private group in an insular town. It doesn't have a very nice ring to it. Was one of them peeping at me at the bushes? I really want to know who was peeping at me in the bushes since the very first time it happened, but that was obviously not answered in Hino's route. And how come we didn't see any of these people when we were in Hino's route, when we were in front of his house? Yuzuki's house. Something bite me on my lip. Also, you shouldn't get close to any forbidden areas. Forbidden areas. So, その名の通り、足を踏み入れてはいけない。立ち入り禁止区域。町を北へまっすぐ、山に向かっていたところにある。Yeah, true to their name, there are places that people are forbidden from entering. There is one directly north of town by the mountain. そこに足を踏み入れたものは。Ever since long ago, people have said that you will vanish if you step foot in one. So none of the locals get close. Vanish. None of this sounds familiar to me. It's like it, it's like it's all out of some fairy tale. So I'm a little perplexed. 小さい頃から近づくなと言い聞かされるから近づいたことはないんだけどね。When I was a kid, everyone told me to not get close to them, so I never had. But now I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm in the middle of nowhere. 
I have no idea whether it's true or not, but I think there must be some reason why the locals are, are so persistent about avoiding them. So, in that sense, we might end up having to go to one as we look for your brother, but... Members of the Vigilance Community Group I mentioned earlier patrol them frequently, so it's best not to wander too freely around them. The Vigilance Community keeps an eye on them? That sounds scary. Well, in any case, if you don't have a place to go to a place, you don't have to go to a well, in any case, there's no point in going somewhere that's deserted, so let's focus on walking around Main Street for today. Um, first we'll have to ask around about your brother, but no one knows. Yeah, that sounds good. Do you have a picture of your brother? If you have a picture of your brother, Hey, do you have a photo of your brother? If you do, that makes make things easier. Oh, sorry. Actually, I don't have one. No, you don't? Not even on your cell phone. My brother always hated take hated being in pictures, so I don't have a single one of him. So go. Wakata. Ja. Okay, then we'll just have to explain as best as we can. Okay, thanks. Come on, if we don't hurry, the sun will set. As if led by a smile, walk toward the town as the sun sinks behind us. Okay, then. We've made it to the main street, but now where should we go? Maybe someplace with a lot of people. What about the movie theater over there? I wonder what it's showing this week. We're going to watch a movie, but then we won't be able to talk to anyone. I'm not sure. Okay, that's it. Let's go back to the movie theater. He's getting distracted so easily. I'd be totally not fine with that. Okay then, alright. Well, just we'll start with that shop over there. Points to a store. Oh, seeing all these pandas again makes me think of Hino. Hino's everywhere. It's a general store, Hino, and I went to the first day we came here. Hey there, how's it going? Hey there, how's it going? Why, if it isn't a Sora? I don't see much at this time of day. Did you run out of ingredients? No, that's not it. We want to ask you something. Do you have time to talk to us? I can refuse a request from you, Sora. You're always welcome here. Oh, my God. 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 Your English pronunciation just as unique as ever, I see. So it's about something that happened around a year ago. Isora summarizes the story of how my brother disappeared last year. Something like that happened. I'm always managing this shop, so that sounds vaguely familiar, and yet... It doesn't sound like you know much about it. I'm used to hearing about accidents by now. They've all started to mix together for me. Like I just heard another strange tale earlier. Something about a mountain accident behind the Okuna Shrine or something. Oh, so this is how we found out in this route, because in the last time we found out through Yazu, because Yazu's big mouth. Huh? Is that true? Yeah, <laughs> Sounds like it. Yazu was running around like a chicken with his head cut off. So. Hmm. So. Well, in any case, we don't want to talk about it. Sorry, I didn't want to talk to you anymore. I didn't want to talk well, anyway, us locals don't much like to remember terrible things like that. Sorry, I can't help you more. Oh, no, thank you very much. Thanks, I'll be back to our shop again. Sora says, winking at the lady. 
We try to go we, we try going to a number of other stores. Thanks to the store's cheerful disposition, all the shop attendants respond willingly. I'm extremely grateful, but for some reason my brother's case seems to be wrapped in the haze and has already faded from the locals' memories. Even though it's only been a year, I can't shake the feeling that something doesn't seem quite right. Asora and I walk around the biggest stores on the main street, and by the time we reach the bridge, the sun is setting. We haven't found out anything. I guess it won't be that simple. I didn't mean to get my hopes up too high when I came here, but I never expected there to be such a li such little information on the case. I thought we'd be able to learn at least a little something. I'm sorry. No, it's not your fault, Asora. Thanks for coming along with me. At least now we know there's no info to be had, and I was only able to ask all those people thanks to you. I couldn't have done, it th done that by myself. I'm just as useless as them. He seems more de depressed than I am. I tried changing the subject to cheer him up. We passed over this bridge on the bus when we came oh. here. Yeah. Yeah, you need to cross it to get into town. There are only two ways in and out of here. One is this bridge that crosses over the river, and the other is the tunnel that goes through the mountains on the other side of the main street. Maybe so many legends popped up here because it's such an enclosed area. Okay, we'll come to the end. So do you want to turn back? Hey, I've been thinking about this for a while. Why don't the store owners and clerks remember your brother? I mean, it's not unthinkable that he just never went into any of the stores, right? Yeah, that sounds ridiculous. He had to go into a store to get food. Maybe, but why in the world would he have done that? Mm. I feel like everyone in this town's brainwashed. Yeah, I can't think of why that would either. But thinking but thinking of it that way, it makes sense that no one would remember him, so I'm thinking we should just assume that's the case. But my brother would at least have to go into the hotel, because where else would he sleep? Because that's the only hotel around, unless he's sleeping on the street, but then people would see him. Unless he's sleeping in the woods, then that's why he's dead. Your brother didn't visit any shops on Main Street. What about any other places? Other places like the Furukan Hotel? The Furukan Hotel is the only hotel in this town. Usually you'd assume your brother had to stay there. Exactly! Why isn't there another hotel or visitors in this town that are rare? Why don't we try asking Yuzuki? Huh, ask the boss directly. Mm. Yeah, I think he knows a lot of things, although... I don't think he'll just tell us what he knows. I think he just tells us what he knows. In fact, once he knows you're investigating the town, he'll probably put you on his watch list. I think I'm already on there, because I didn't exactly tell him why I came to this town. He did tell me not to poke around. I don't think we can ask him. You can't think of any other place my brother might have stayed at besides Furukan Hotel. That's the only convenient place to stay at, so I can't think of anywhere else, unless he only did a day trip or something. The only other thing I can think of is maybe he stayed with someone he knew here. Or there's a house here that he lived in a long time ago. Huh? Would he? Would my brother have a house here? Uh, I guess I'm overthinking it. He sort of quickly takes back his last ah, suggestion. 
ごめん今日のところはもう帰ろう夕食の時間が始まっちゃうから Oh, is it this late already? Sorry, but let's go back for today. It's time for dinner. Okay. It would make sense. I never thought of that. That my brother could potentially have a place he stayed here. Or maybe he used one of the abandoned houses to stay in. Or maybe he knew someone and just stayed with them. But then why didn't that person file a missing report? I don't know. By the time we get back to the hotel, the sun has completely set and it's dark out. Go in there. Oh God, my, game bugged. my game's bugged. Sorry, I ended up just walking around today. Oh, it's fine. Thanks for coming with me. Thanks to you being there, I had a lot of fun. Maybe I shouldn't have used the word fun, I think, but. Oh, I need to end the episode anyway. Yeah, I had fun walking around with you too. Can I even save? Oh, maybe the black screen is on purpose? No. No, it's not. I hear no sound now. Okay, the game's bugged. Anyway, thank you guys for watching today's episode. Stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys in the next one.